January 15, Monday. Mary's Question 2. In the visitation, the first lesson Our Lady teaches us about thinking is to ask questions in faith. Theology is defined as faith-seeking understanding. First, we believe what God has revealed. Then we seek to understand it more. We don't make our own understanding the condition of faith. We don't say, once you convince me, then I'll believe. That's what Zechariah did and was punished. Faith in what God has revealed is necessary for the proper kind of thinking in the church. Second lesson, Mary shows that we should ask questions with the willingness to receive the answer. Zechariah's question was the only answer he wanted. Our Lady's question shows an openness to instruction. Here it's good to recall Newman's line that 10,000 difficulties do not make one doubt. A difficulty is a puzzlement or wonder about some aspect of the faith. It leads to that questioning and willingness to receive what God has to say. A doubt comes from and leads to skepticism. It puts God on trial and demands that he prove himself. The irony is that God has done many things to prove his love for us. But we are not open to his answers. We keep moving the goalposts on him, insisting that he prove himself on our terms. Third lesson, Mary shows us that our questions should be for the purpose of self-giving. Her questioning is not just an intellectual endeavor for her. She's not asking just because, you know, it would be nice to know. She doesn't suffer the vice of curiositas. Rather, she asks, she seeks to understand more so that she can conform herself to God's truth. That is why we should ask questions about the faith, so that by understanding more, we can give ourselves more. Zechariah was punished by being struck mute, because skeptics really have nothing to say. Mary is rewarded by an explanation and by a proof. She didn't demand them. God in his generosity gave them. He doesn't always respond that quickly or that clearly but he always rewards those who seek him with sincere and upright hearts, who desire to know and understand him more, not on their own terms, but as he is, by Father Paul D. Scalia.